Hello friends, welcome back. Today we'll explore the history of Java or the evolution of Java or origin of Java. It all started in the year 1990 when Sun Microsystems engineer Patrick Norton was very frustrated with Sun's C++ and C's APIs and he wanted to move away to another software company next. At this point, he was given an opportunity to develop a new programming language for the project Steelth. The Steelth project later on was renamed to Green Project wherein Mike Sheridan and James Gosling joined in the Green Project. The Green Project is all about creating a new technology for programming smart next generation appliances like set of boxes and interactive televisions. The primary goal of this new technology is that it should be very easy to use and it should be object oriented based and it should be platform independent meaning that the code should execute across multiple operating systems and it should be designed in such a way that it can execute code from the remote system securely and it should have built-in support for computer networks. The team now thought of considering combining MESA and C programming and also they considered C++ programming. James Gosling didn't want to consider C++ because of the following reasons. The first reason is C++ code occupied much memory and C++ is a complex programming language which led into developers errors and C++ didn't support garbage collection which means that the programmer have to handle the system memory which often led into some mistakes and they wanted a platform uh, which can port easily on multiple devices. So after 18 months of rigorous hard work, the team came up with a new language which is called as Green Talk with an extension .gt. And James Gosling is the creator of this new language and he named this language as Oak, naming after an oak tree that stood outside his office window. Oak tree represented strength and it is the national tree of United States of America, Germany and France. Later on, he actually encountered into uh, legal issues with the Oak technologies. There were some trademark uh, issues with the Oak technologies and again the team have to rename the language into some other official name. So they considered many words like silk pepper, neon, dynamic, revolutionary, and so on. And later on, they named the language Java based upon the coffee beans. Java is an island in Indonesia where the first coffee bean is produced. So they named after this coffee bean. And James Gosling is the father of Java programming language. And Java is just a word, it is not an acronym was actually developed for digital cable televisions but the digital cable televisions didn't want the language because they felt that it is too advanced for them and the second reason is that the power is too much to the users so they the, uh, some microsystems lost their bid so again the team sat for several days brainstorming on how to promote java in 1995 WWW World Wide Web started gathering momentum and the team felt that Java will best suit in this particular internet environment because Java was designed in such way that it will work across networks and also it can transmit dynamic content across internet and the main feature of Java which is that it is processor independent. So they thought that Java will best suit the internet and after that Java incorporated into Netscape and in 1995 
May 23rd, Java's first release happened and it became incredibly popular as an internet programming language. After that, Java underwent many changes and today it is truly a versatile programming language which is used for Windows applications, web applications, mobile applications and enterprise applications. There are many versions that were released and in my upcoming videos, I will discuss on what are the features in various versions of Java. This is the history of Java my friends. Hope this video is helpful to you. Keep watching my upcoming videos. Stay home, stay safe, happy learning. Bye.